Welcome to The Medical Method. Today I'm going to be talking about de-technicalization in the MMI, um, so explaining really big concepts in simple ways. So stay tuned for that. So today I'm going to be responding to heaps of emails and stressed students um, in explaining de-technicalization. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a prophet and I don't have an overriding solution for everyone, but I do have some general advice that should help you in this exercise. So as I usually start before I explain my tips, um, the point of this question, you know, asking what's a cell, explain it to a layman in simple terms, blah, blah, blah. The reason they ask these questions, it's pretty obvious really, it's that if you have some complex condition, a doctor needs to be able to draw a little diagram or simply explain it so that anyone of any ability um, in terms of intelligence or um, any deficit can understand what's going on. Anywhere from, you know, a two-year-old child all the way to a hundred-year-old old lady, okay? So you need to have really good communication skills and you need to know how to explain things simply. Um, so the best way to do this is to have a few examples or sort of similes that you can use uh, more than once and that fit more than one example. So for example, I used Lego uh, often. Um, you can use like occupations, so like um, you can talk about cells. Cells are just like all the people on the earth. Um, they all have different jobs, they all do different things, but they work together to create a whole body that functions as one. Lego sort of fits better for that, but I couldn't think of another example. Um, or like, I guess you can talk about the immune system, like the police and the bacteria, viruses, like the criminals and the police try to catch the criminals to keep us well. Um, I don't know, there's, there's lots to go through, but basically go through lots of biology topics and try and find an example. That's a good start. And then practice. You have to have to practice to get good at this. It's the only way really. Um, practice with your friends, practice with someone who won't understand the technicalities and get them to question you if they don't understand something. And you'll get quite good at it quite quickly and you'll understand not to throw in technical terms. And I guess that's the only thing you can do in this station to really, really muck up is to say some sort of technical term like glucose or um, oxidative phosphorylation, um, Krebs cycle, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking of a cell stuff. And the problem is because as soon as you say that, the actors will be trained to ask you, what's that mean? And then you're stuck trying to explain probably an even more complex thing within the original things, like inception. So every, and then you'll finally have explained that one word in your four minutes in, and you still haven't really explained what you originally meant to explain the cell. So make sure not to dig a hole for yourself, because once you start getting technical, you'll get asked about it, and then it sort of digs deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's what I found in my experience training people, um, in my tutoring, and also just more generally in, um, in medicine, when people try to explain things to actors, you know, mock patients, they just, they sort of start getting all bogged down in technicalities and can't explain what's actually going on, when usually most things can be explained simply. Um, and I guess that's all my advice. Um, if you have any, <clears throat> if you have any burning questions, ask me on my email, comment below. Um, I think I've covered basically everything on the MMI. I can't think of anything else. Um, so I'm going to be doing more like different content. I'm going to try and find something interesting for you guys. So maybe some vlogs, chatting about my experiences. Um, I don't know, some more cool stuff around Melbourne. And that's about it. Uh, I'm sorry for dragging on so much and for my phone. Uh, check out my channel for new videos coming soon. And thanks for watching.